Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is about couples coping in lockdown. I've called it CCL. So obviously we're in coronavirus season. We're all in lockdown. I think this is week seven. <sighs> and it's been a long time. Loads of us have got kids at home. We're homeschooling them. Loads of us are working from home as well. It's basically a crazy, crazy time. So what I decided to do was get together with a couple of our friends, have a social distance meeting. So everyone's in their house and we've all logged on together. And I just thought, let me find out how everybody else is getting on in this season as couples, where the tensions are or not. Enjoy the video. Thank you so much for being part of my experiment. Um, I think, by the way, it is being recorded now, but to just be sure that whatever you say um, is likely to go on the channel. But oh, I like the uh, Oyewo girls. They're sharing tea. Oh, yeah, share, share, share. It's all right. I don't yes. like Are you sure? Are you sure? Everyone's stuck at home. Um, it hasn't always been rosy. Hasn't been rosy for us. Not every day. Every day hasn't been Christmas. The first week was awesome. I think day three of week two, he just went a bit loopy. But anyway, that's another story for another day. I don't know. Man just woke up and just stopped talking to me. One word answers. I'm like, bruv, we've got a long way to go. Just didn't eat my food. I'm like, I can't deal with this. As usual, as usual, she didn't do anything, innit? As I just woke up. I just said it. The guys are always going loopy in their in everyone's eyes. It was vexed. I didn't even know what I did. I'm like, what did I do? Anyways. Anyway. Friendly Fire was because obviously you said how are people dealing with the lockdown and then I'm saying people might just this might just be an avenue for someone to really share how they're feeling mm. makes sense it's, it's, also yeah. fun. it's also fun as yeah. well but I'm just saying it might just be a time where someone will say this is the first avenue there someone is asking them how are you doing uh, so what was what were your first thoughts when it was announced we were going into lockdown regarding how much time you would spend with each other. Anyway, I wasn't really thinking of, oh, I'm going to be spending all my time with him because spend most of his time together anyway. Um, so for me, I like staying at home. And we always do things a lot together at home anyway. So it was more like a natural thing. So it wasn't anything, oh, I'm going to be spending a lot of my time with him. Oh, we're going to be home together 24 seven. I the idea I just anticipated was going to be this long. <laughs> that was the only thing. That was just going to be for maybe a few weeks, and then that's it. But it's not. It's not an issue. Yeah. It wasn't. We not thought it was something we naturally do anyway. So it was nothing. No big deal. Uh, for me, I knew the lockdown was coming because of the way I work. Um, personally, it was ah, hallelujah. I felt a lot. Of, I felt a lot of um, uh, a lot of joy in, in the sense that I'm gonna be spending more time with her. She comes back from work. Uh, we had a busy doing one thing or the other, taking care of the kids. You know, life life just takes you away. Before you know it, nine o'clock, nine thirty. Uh, probably that's when you have time for each other. Mm -hmm. And by the time you have time for each other, you're already exhausted because of the day. At least she won't be going to work, so she'll be less tired. Gang, gang. Tolu, are you smiling? Tolu is smiling. So, at least the tea word is out of the window to start with, hopefully out of the window. Um, so for me, it was, it felt, it, I, I felt a lot happier that we're gonna be spending a lot of time together. Uh, I saw it as an opportunity for me to have, you know, those, those conversations you never had the time to have with your with your missus because you're bogged down with, with, with life. Yep. So, uh, and I think we had opportunity to do that. So yeah, uh, for me it was was it was all positive to be honest. Um, for the lockdown, 
it wasn't my, my fear was an issue with the kids but um, and then because Gokke works he works from home three days a week anyway so it, it I didn't have any preconceived ideas about him because being you're, you're already at home aren't you okay, at home right okay yeah um yeah so my initial fears was the kids um because Gok is normally at home two days a week anyway so it was just like okay he's not going to be I don't have to drop him at the station anymore so that was a good thing <laughs> I like that one <laughs> yeah so I, I was initially I was cool but it didn't it didn't bring any emotion were you were you were you excited for him to be at home or, uh, or for, for you guys to be at home together yeah more I didn't. I didn't think like that. Okay. If I'm if I'm just reflecting on my emotions back then, I didn't draw any conclusions from it. Honestly, it was just. I think maybe I had too much fear about the kids. So. Yeah, I, I didn't. Just like you, I didn't think I was uh, had any thoughts about it. I just um, I was gonna save time going to the office three days a week. That's all I saw. Didn't think was going to afford more time to spend together as a couple. I didn't see that at all. I said, I, I was I was more concerned about her being able to deal with the kids, being at home. That was the worry I had. So I don't think I put myself in a situation as to what I could get out of it. Um, and maybe after time went by, we settled into it. That's when it hit. No, hang on a sec. Maybe we should have thought that from the start, which we didn't. So I think we then got to a point where there was a gridlock obviously that had to be resolved so um i think yeah lessons learned maybe we should have been proactive to talk about that um, oh, i think for me um i was relieved that he would be at home to be with the kids because i have to go to work so for me that was more i wasn't thinking that we would be at home because we're not that's because i still have to go to work so. key worker, that's why yeah yeah, because I, I would say now I do enjoy the other times, you know, the not so busy times with running to church or taking the kids to activities, you know, having those down times where we can actually just sit down and do something together and talk, you know, where before we just, you know, like what they said, just didn't have any time to do anything. But actually just having that time, I think, um, I think I look forward to that, I appreciate it that, but yeah. yeah. Before, just before I was with a man, I never really taught him to get to that level. But uh, I think on the day, I think it was the 17th of March, then we were told that going forward, we're not coming back to work. And the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, the kids. Yeah. Because I knew straight away, I was spending a lot more time with them. Not because I don't love my kids, but for those that know them, it's hard to keep them entertained. You know, so it was mainly the kids. Any kids, any kids. Yeah, any kids, yeah. So the only thing was, similar to what Goku just said, a few days into it, you now saw the opportunity of, wow, spending more time. And there's more things that maybe, besides doing some of the things which um, some ladies said, that you're thinking, ah, oh, I could easily join in that. I'm just sitting here doing that now. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, I finished work for the day. She has a, so that's how, so that is the also. Moving on from or before beforehand that just never talked about he was he just didn't come into my thought that okay it'll be an issue being on together or no. It was it was just what it is. We spent a lot of time together anyway. And one of the things we always said was we didn't have as much time together. Because sometimes you ask the question, what did you do before you have kids? And we actually had a lot of fun before you have kids, but the minute you have kids, it just takes away everything, even your holiday. So we now okay. My thought, uh, I think I was happy because for me, work-wise or life-wise, my personal life, I was tired of um, the job I was doing at the time. So to me, immediately it was I didn't have to go into that job at that moment. So straight away, I don't think, if anything I thought about him was, I've always thought he's very stressed with work. Whenever he comes back from work, he's always very stressed and he still brings it home. So if anything, I thought that would... Um, make it less stressful on him so that was the only connection i had with the whole lockdown and my husband but yeah apart from that it, it's been less stressful if i can say but yeah i think for, for me i didn't i didn't 
I felt it was a temporary thing. I felt, well, it still is temporary, but I felt it was short term, maybe a week, two yeah. weeks. In terms of the family, um, I kind of, I didn't really, uh, I was looking forward to it in a funny way. I was looking forward to her not being, you know, not having to, to, to you know, to complain about, you know, this pain or that pain, and then us having to wake up so early. I was thinking more about, I could actually sleep one one extra hour in bed, yeah. and I just wake up and just walk down the stairs and just put my computer on, and I'm good to go. And I was like, okay, I'll, I can deal with that. It's 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 been a bit sort of topsy turvy, but now it's kind of you know it's coasting and, and it's, it's on the up. So yeah. When we when I first heard that I was going into lockdown, I was I was quite excited. Um, it was a bit of a selfish thing for me because it was a case okay, so I don't have to get up every morning and leave the house and go on the bus and then work from the office and then come home quite late. And then also because Tasse had already, he was already at home anyway, so I was a little bit jealous anyway. So we went to lockdown, I couldn't wait. Mm. I like rushed the process. I'm in a new job, so I was getting home late. Tasse was spending more time with the kids, so I was a little bit jealous, but I wasn't spending enough time with the kids. I wasn't also spending time with him. So when they said you're, rushed, you're going into lockdown, I kind of rushed the process. And then, um, I mean, now we're in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> now you're stuck. Stay no, stay no more. I'm stuck. I think that sounded really bad. But anyway, <laughs> no. it's, it's calm, right? uh, I think my, my, the part that she said, which, may, uh, which I can agree with was, so one of the things I look, I was happy that she was, the lockdown was happening because as, she, as Angela said, it was one that she had started in a new role and she would leave the house at let's say six and then six about seven or eight i'll drop her off at work and then she wouldn't come back till about 9 30 10. so as much as i was doing the kids i was not spending a lot of time with her i was looking forward to that part just so that even if she's doing the late night i think she's in a house where we're all together yeah, yeah. Um, but for, i think from my side um I, we kind of spend a lot of time together anyway and um I, I wasn't so much looking forward to it from the, let's say, the business side because I've been I've been out you know I've been at home for like a few months, so the lockdown was more like oh, man, I really wanted. It's almost like people were coming back home. I wanted to go out, you know, and so for me that was a bit of a mixed emotion. But from Angela's point, I was excited to see her come back home because she was spending a lot of time that outside of work. Um, the truth be told. I wasn't looking forward to it. <laughs> I, and I think, no, okay, let, let me rephrase that. I think we live such busy lives, the two of us, separately. Um, I was actually quite nervous of the amount of time we would spend together because um, between um, me doing my nine to five, him doing his nine to five, he does a lot of football with Michael, I do the other bits with Malachi. Then on the weekend, we've still got the Michael runs, the Malachi runs, my own personal business runs. Then on the Sunday, I've got we've got the church runs and then the other stuff. We live such a busy life. I thought to myself, to now slow it down, I was gonna struggle. And to now slow it down and we'll both be at home and we can't go and do the things that we're gonna do. Truth be told, I was nervous. I can't say I was excited to spend time with him at home. Now, I think that's also because, no, what I mean by that is whenever we are home, we just we we just do our thing and have a great time. When whenever when our when our diaries meet and we're home, cool. But we're just constantly on the road. So in my head I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to talk to you. That that, that was the truth. Mm. And I, I can't remember who said it, but someone else said, as as the lockdown has gone on, my attitude has changed, kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, I kind of like talking to you. It's not that bad. It's not always moaning. Uh, I have the same view, but in as much as as it comes across. When we get into the conversation, you find out it's quite positive. The reason why I say it's quite positive is we live very busy lives and we are we are naturally friends. So when you're naturally friends with someone, being on lockdown with them, really, I didn't really think twice about it. 
I think what I'll say, a couple of selfish thoughts came into my mind, as someone already spoke about on the call, in that we'll be at home more. And therefore, you know, the I'm tired business Louder. will come out much. I think, as Tayo, as Tayo also said as well before, I think I'm a strategic person. So quickly in my head, right, I just started thinking, all right, if we're on lockdown at home, then this is the time to start planning, okay, what, where are we regarding, you know, finances, the things we've always wanted to talk about that we've never had the time to sit down and talk about it. So for me, immediately I'd already started thinking about it, okay, we're at home now, so yeah, that conversation I've always wanted to have, well, now we're at home, we might as well have that conversation. You know, they're not necessarily, they're not, necessarily, they're not bad conversations, but it's just like, you push so much things like oh we'll talk about it later we'll talk about it later be it business be it the kids be it or where are you financially or where are you with these documents or processes you're supposed to have done so i think for us or for me that was what came to mind first it wasn't about oh i'm gonna be on lockdown with this woman or what am i gonna do it was more like how do i make it work and uh as most of us have mentioned here you might find out that as soon as you get into lockdown, perception versus reality starts to change from week two, week three, week four, week five, week six. And to be really sincere, in my head, I said to myself, it's how you come out of it that matters. I'm learning every week. Every week, there's something new that comes up. So, What new things, positive and negative, have you found out about each other during lockdown? I'm just I'm just gonna say for some of them I'm gonna plead the fifth amendment and not answer. <laughs> 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 no. No. no, no, there's no pleading any fifth. No. Don't plead the fifth, just answer naturally. <laughs> so the negative for me with um top eight is I don't know if he does this because he's trying not to upset whatever the mood is or shake up the mood but he doesn't like to speak about something which is very much written on his face that like it's a problem right and that has always always bugged me and I've, I've said it from when we started anyways that I would prefer it if he just says it then to leave me guessing that I've, I'm the one who's done something wrong mm. so that's the negative always been there if anything, I've just seen, noticed it a bit more. But what is why it's turning to a positive now is that he has nowhere to run to. <laughs> so we've got to talk about it. As soon as I see on the face and I give that look like, I know there's something, come out with it, mister. Let's just get it over and done with. Not in the get over and done with, I don't care, I don't love you, I don't care what you're feeling. But in the sense of it doesn't, it's not a cloud that's sitting above both of our heads and we're just going to talk it. We, we have to talk this thing out. So mm -hmm. that's me. That was the positive. You've got nowhere to go. <laughs> 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 I think from my end, uh, I'll start with negative as well. I think the negative thing I've noticed is that her sleeping patterns have been disoriented and she gets easily stir crazy. Like she's, she's the kind of person that's always bubbly, active, and, and she doesn't know how to cope with these kind of situations. Whereas mm -hmm. I'm maybe on the other end of the spectrum, I'm very much a calm person. I can separate myself from a situation and just have, and just sort of self-isolate and just kind of, just, I, I, I zero my mind and I go through whatever. Now, she's, she's the opposite of that, I've noticed. It's like, she, sometimes she just, we, we can, we can just be like this, right? I'm bored. I'm like, okay, you know, it's what it is. We're dealing with it. What do you want me to do about it? What do you want us to do about it? You know, and and she, you know, even even to the point where even at the times we're saying don't go out, don't go out, she's just told me we need to drive out and get her supplies. And even though we probably didn't need those supplies, but just because she was yeah. fighting boredom. Now, yeah. one thing I learned is to understand that and not hold it against her. Initially, I think it was it was jarring me. I was like, what's, what's all this? But as time has gone on, I've learned to understand it. And and alluding to what she said earlier about me not speaking, that is one of the reasons why I've not spoken. Because I see those things and I'm like, hmm, and I would bite my lip and not say anything. But my face is a picture. You can't you can't miss it. So yeah. she picks up on that. Yeah. So that's that's the negative. But the positive is I've 
she's not she, she, like she. I never realized how talented a, a, a like a maker. But I, I don't want to say just cook or baker. So I, I I put both together. She's a maker of of. She's very into like she, she, she it's pulled out a lot of her skills in terms of baking and cooking and all that kind of stuff. So this <laughs> breathing. <laughs> Um, Okay, doesn't like to be alone. Oh, he's um, he's a so sociable person. So oh oh, I thought you meant he doesn't like to be alone as in oh, like as it likes to come to the No no no. (laughs) (laughs) Is it is it social being? He likes to be outside. So obviously, I, I'm opposite. Um, I, 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 I like my own company, which he doesn't. So he'll be going to the car or to the room. He just constantly, he needs the outside world. It's like I knew like he's a sociable person, but now yeah. it's confirmed that it's a need for him. That he needs to keep, communicate with whoever, whenever. He just needs to communicate. Um, like- don't know about negative, but positive is. Um, I think didn't know and she probably doesn't give herself enough credit for this I think she, what she does with the kids and the house and everything is phenomenal I didn't realise there was so much she had to do to make things work around the house because I'm often the one out there and when I come back in the evening you only see the dinner you only talk to the kids and then you think that's it Yeah. And to realise you know to spend time with the kids during the day I want to come back, or especially when she's doing the tutoring, she's doing it 99% of the time. With three kids, that's a lot. So I didn't realize there was much that I had to go into a day. I used to underestimate what she actually do on a day-to-day basis. Mm. I think I appreciate that more now. And I don't think I could do it. You know, I like to think I could do a lot of things, but I don't think I have to concede that um, it's, it's a gift and it's a blessing that I couldn't do it. So Positive. Um... I have seen the way Tessa interacts with the kids because I'm still working. So that's like start early, finish sometimes like after seven. Um, so I've seen the way he's been able to handle the kids, the way he is with Emerson, the way he's with Josiah, the way he's taken um, taken to doing the schoolwork and being that parent that sits down and makes sure that they're doing their Joe Wicks, going through their lesson from start to finish. Um, I think that's a positive. And I didn't know Tessa could actually do that because he did it before, but I've seen it now. And I'm, that makes me so happy to see that the, the relationship that he's developing with them and the way he's taken to doing the teacher parent role, that is a positive thing. Um, the negative, I think I've said it before, is, I so said, I know Tessa's loud. No. I didn't realize how loud he can be. And I think, being in lockdown has shown me that my husband is an extremely loud person <laughs> and, does, and just loves the sound of his own voice. <laughs> and I, just, <laughs> I um, knew he was loud, or I just felt he was louder than me. I've now come to realise he's quite a loud person. Wait, can you guys hear me as well? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, I'm glad speak you... Up, speak up, louder, louder. <laughs> I'm glad she's come to that realisation. Yeah. It, it took, it took, um, it took, it took the COVID to make us realise how loud I am, but I'm glad. So, <laughs> in terms of the, I, I, I would take the, what I would say is, I wouldn't say as negative. It was something I wished, for, I asked for actually, in my first statement, which was, I wanted her to spend, do work at home. Um, at least she's in the house when we're, when, you know, as opposed to spending late nights at work. But now what I've now, what I wished for is now become a negative because sometimes she would sit on the desk from, I think because she knows that at home, she doesn't have to do the travel. She could sit on her desk from like 5.30 in the morning or sometimes six in the morning. And she wouldn't get up from that desk until seven, eight, nine, sometimes 10 at night. Wow. So it's almost like she's there but she's not there. Yeah. So um, I think that's, like I said, it's, it's, I would see it as a negative uh, because there's there's no work-life balance. Um, the positive is, it's interesting all of you would think this. So everyone sees Angela as an introvert, someone that is, she likes her own space, she wants to be by herself. 
I think in this lockdown, I've kind of realized as much as she likes her space, she's almost like a social butterfly like that I am. Because I always used to think I'm the very, I want everybody to be next to me and talk to everybody. But she has those qualities. And now she's now crying out, oh, I'm tired of being indoors. I want to, and I'm yeah. like, hold on. Yeah. I'm maybe the one screaming out. Yeah. But I'm not screaming out. You're the one that, so I've realized she, the positive is she's a very, she's a social butterfly. Um, can I say positives? Um, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's, the positive side of him is he's been really pushing me to do some stuff. Because normally I'll just relax and be like, okay, I'll do it the next day. I'll, I'll, I'll like leave it to the last minute. So he's really been on my case and pushing me to like try and develop myself in different things. So I'm really grateful that I have someone that can push me to do stuff or believes that I can really do something and push me forward to try and get it. Because I can see I'm actually enjoying what he's trying to help me develop myself with. So I'm grateful for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only thing is that... Um, because we're trying to do stuff together, so like we exercise. We think, well, when the lockdown started, we're doing exercises together. But lately, he's like, he can't be bothered anymore. Uh-huh. So I'm not really happy about that because it was fun when we did things together. For me, um, I'll start with the positive. Uh, I've always known that Dio has some level of capacity when it comes to certain things. Even though she said herself that she didn't believe in herself that she had that capacity. But I think the negative side is the fact that that disbelief was more profound in this lockdown. So that turned into positive. So the positive side is the fact that we both discovered that even the things that I taught uh, that she might not be able to cut it, especially things that are quite very strategic and very analytical. I discovered that she actually has more capacity to the point that I'm actually seeing both of us at the same end point in terms of career path, which for me, it is extremely, extremely exciting. I've not, I've, I've actually spent 15 years to find that sweet spot that she, I think she will really do well in because I can remember in the past where I pushed her into different, I pushed her into different professions and it didn't, it didn't work out. This is the first time in 15 years that I think, wow, wow. Okay, so for me, uh, eating that light bulb, yeah, was is, is a massive positive for me and for the family as a help. Yeah. So. so something new that I've learned about him yeah. is that. I think it's it's a bit of both negative and positive, depending on how you look at it. Mm. Is that your your friend here is actually very sensitive. Since the lockdown, we talk about our feelings a lot. <laughs> That's a good thing. But then, you know, sometimes you just, you don't really want to, you know, talk about your feelings, like you just want to, you know. <laughs> so that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for me, um, I wouldn't say it's something new. Um, we've been together for a while. Mm. I think it's more like, you, I, I now understand a bit more in terms of, well, has always been organized, and um, that's helped me a lot. And since this lockdown, it's funny how she organizes everything, even when she's going to work. So she would organize the kids, they would have a timetable, they would ship the they do everything that's meant to be done all day will be organized. And then she organizes what I'm gonna eat as well. The negative bit is because she's that organized, she wants everything done in a particular way. And if it's not done in that way, I, I don't get smart too. <laughs> but the foolishness will be added to you. <laughs> when you have someone that can handle your foolishness in such a way that you would not know that you've been insulted of the family. <laughs> so, you know those kind of words, and then you think, yeah, you just then you think about it later and you think, ah, come to think of another stupid now. <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> so that's the negative. But the positive is she's really organized, and I appreciate that to be honest. Because yeah, um, it makes my life easy, especially when I'm stuck with the kids on all day. Mm. Uh, 
Yeah. Um, it's a positive, it's a negative that rolls into a positive. As I mentioned earlier on, Cokes is very serious. Very, very yeah. serious. And as you all know, I'm just a, a tad bit playful, not very playful, just a tad. In fact, I live my whole life on play, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, a very playful person and a very serious person doesn't always, always gel. Um, Cokes is serious. He's a, he's, a, he's a strategist and he likes to plan. He's got a lot of time at home, so he's got a lot of time to plan. <laughs> I've got a lot of time at home, I just, I just want to play. <laughs> so the negative for me is I just knew that oh, all these conversations right so about that thing, yeah? I <laughs> what we need to do, yeah? Let me get that sheet and we'll go for the <laughs> no, I just want to go watch Skinny Girl in Transit, like, you know? And so when he starts that conversation, I will strategically, Mitch, I can be strategic. I will strategically stand by the door so that you can see that I'm on my way to leave the room. If you sit down with the Google, you're not going anywhere. So his <laughs> negative for me in this period is the serious talking but the positive of it now is as time goes on i'm like you know what and i don't always tell him like he's got a point about that let me start thinking about that a bit more i will not say but he will see in my actions that i do listen so i might act as if i don't listen but i listen in my own way when i'm ready to listen um so that's his 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 negative of just constantly planning um, turn into a positive that benefits me. Um, somebody mentioned about going to the shops. In this period, my negative is Ade Tokumba doesn't go to the shops. This guy is very social, but in the lockdown, Oku doesn't want to go anywhere to go and help me buy. I'm the one that will queue in the Audi. I'm the one that will queue in the same. <laughs> Maybe he's vulnerable. That's it. <laughs> but, but, but this is called a lockdown for a reason. Okay, you don't go out, I don't go out. What do we talk? Exactly. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll 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 Why have to go out? He hasn't been shopping. He claims going to charge the electricity last night and picked up plantain because the shop sells plantain. It's going out. I don't mind going out. I don't mind going out. But if you're strategic about your going now, like you go out on Friday or once exactly. a week. Exactly. Once a week. Yes, which I do. I've been doing and it for six times. I'm talking about my own positive and my own negative. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> uh, she's already negative. She's already she's already explained herself because I don't mind. My wife is very playful, very social, and she wants to be on the phone or out all the time. So even in lockdown, right? <laughs> she, uh, I'm going to Aldi. I'm going to this. I need to go and somebody see. else oh, said let that. Let me finish. Uh, I, I'm going to drive by. I'm not going to enter. I'm not going to enter. I'm not going to enter their house. I'm just going to park outside in their drive. I just hand them Easter eggs, and I'm looking at the woman, thinking like, woman. They said lockdown. Sit in your house. <laughs> so that is what that is negative, right? Oh positive. Goodness. Basically, you know, I've always like, buddy. I've always tried to push, do this, do this, do that. You know, you can do this. You know, you've got it in you. I think the lockdown has really meant that she's kind of sees me sitting at the desk, two laptops doing stuff. And she even she's out, she's working. She still works at nine to five. But what I've noticed is she spent the last six weeks doing more in terms of things she's been pushed and pushed to. Uh, you know, I've told her she can do. She's not doing a lot of it. You know, during the lockdown, she's found out she can cook different things she's never cooked before. So she's baking and all that. So those are like positives that you know, obviously, we get to enjoy and, and enjoy as well. And uh, you know, Tyre is a negative into positive tyre is not a affectionate touchy touchy type of person so this lockdown we're all locked down in this house together and sometimes i've now noticed i, I you know what i've noticed now is sometimes i'm sitting in the office doing work right and i don't know whether it's through boredom 
and she just comes to the office and just do and I'm thinking like ah hold on what's going on here exactly so you come in to sh- this is what I don't understand so somebody help me they complain that you're not affectionate I am the way I, I'm going to say my own way I'm the way God made me right but every now and then in this lockdown I just thought I don't know girls yeah, it's make- a lockdown isn't it no no no, no 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 I said negative to positive Wait, right so ladies I don't know maybe sometimes you guys have it just sometimes in my head a thought comes in about him or maybe a thought comes in about something he's done or a thought comes in um you know you know those nice thoughts and, you, and then you just go oh. and then I just think at that point I just thought let me just go and he doesn't know what I'm thinking and I'm not even going to go and tell him what I'm thinking but let me just go and do my reminder you know the rub the head and then I would do and then he'll go <laughs> something you trust you complain I don't do I'm now doing, and you're now starting. What time did you do? How far? What time? No, 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 no. You, you said it's you're not doing now. It's not even about my mood. I think it's just yeah. more like before lockdown. She, she's, she's affectionate in her own way. But what I've just noticed is like part of this lockdown, I've just seen it more, and it's probably because we're both at home, both at home, or maybe she can't go out. She's sitting in the room and she's bored, and she's just going ah. Let me just go out. That's because no. so you're more available. So therefore, <laughs> normally when those thoughts happen, I'm not there to show her. Mm-hmm. But if you're there, she's like, okay, let me just tap in and appreciate this girl. Yeah, that's the yeah. But I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying that positive, man. No doubt, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, please. I'm available anytime, is it? <laughs> so before you say it yes i roll with a bunch of crazy crazy people but crazy people that i adore and you just saw them for who they are and they kept it real i hope you enjoyed it i hope you'll stick around and look out for the next episode because there are still more questions to come still more laughs to come Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and comment as you so wish. God bless. And as always, stay you, stay awesome, stay P31.